Chosen ones! It is July 1st! Holy! It's July! What the f- How is it already July? Is anyone else mind boggled boggled by that? It's nuts, man. How fast this life goes. I am Kimberly. This is the Kimberly Ponce Channel. Where we talk about awesome things. <laughs> Literally all the time. <laughs> Today we're talking about how to handle, title of the vid, is how to handle being attacked um, with grace. Because it's, it's not fun, and it's not easy, um, and it's kind of a consistent, almost guaranteed factor of anyone's life if they choose to give their life to God. Um, and it's especially worse if you is chosen, and it's like, your destiny is meant to change the world, and of course, the enemy is not going to like that. So, we're going to talk about that today. I don't even know. It's 9.57 in the morning. I slept so well last night, I woke up and did not know what day it was. That's how good I slept. And I had really cool dreams. I had, like, really cool dreams. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And, like, I also got, like, finally some of the best sleep I've, I've gone, that I've needed to be getting, like, English, yeah conjugation and don't know it uh i've been needing to get better sleep for the past like um 28 years or something and then just like finally last night i slept on my stomach and that seemed to take a lot of the pressure off the rodilla here and so that was like a breakthrough in and of itself and um i i'm so grateful <laughs> finally good sleep so you guys welcome Welcome. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Like, have you been attacked before? Have you experienced that? It's not fun, right? It really makes you feel... Uh... Ganged up on, and, and, and you can feel the hostility, and... Sometimes it feels really unfair, because it's like everything ganging up against you, but you're doing right. You was doing right by God, and you was doing the, the good thing, you know? Like your destiny and your purpose and you're doing what makes you happy and like what God has led you to do and that's kind of extra it's kind of that's the thing if you do get attacked I kinda of wanted to mention a couple of different things it's it's actually a really good sign when you're getting um, attacked in a certain area of your life especially like an area of creativity it's, it's a very good sign um, and if you do get attacked um, wait it out i have made a video about this in the past about like 10 steps to do and like how to be attacked and, like or, or not how to be attacked sorry how to uh, how to handle being attacked like 10 steps um and the first one was yeah like wait it out because you never know um exactly what the next move is on their part and it's just smart if you are the target to just wait it out and not be reactive right away and like because it's like you know usually our first defense to want to defend ourselves or stand up for ourselves but when it's like this type of marathon type of being attacked like yeah we need to practice that self-preservation and um wait it out and then the third thing too is if you're being attacked go with the flow so don't resist it and that's the thing it's like I've, I had to learn, like, past year, how to, like, go with the attacks, um, and not to resist it. So, like, a lot of the times it'll be through, like, the technological devices that I'm using, and then, like, I'll be performing, and then a song just, like, changes all of a sudden on its own. Like, I didn't touch it, and I was just getting into it. Um, and then it's like, okay, cool, I'll sing that song. I really wanted to sing Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo, but I guess I'll sing, um... It'll, like, it'll switch it to, like, a whole other song, and there's no way that, like... So, like, my laptop and my cell phone, they're both hacked. And it's, like, that's the that's the type of attacks that I have to, like, go with the flow with and be, like, okay, cool, I guess I'm not singing the song I want to sing because, <laughs> like, this song, it, it just popped up 
and changed. Um, and it's, it's actually, like, it's, like, crazy, like, that I'm used to that now. Um, and for the longest time, too, I was getting attacked with, like, um, I would look up the lyrics for a song because, obviously, you gotta know the lyrics. And every time I went to um, look at the lyrics of a song, it would log me out of my entire Spotify. And this would happen up to ten times performing in, like, one hour. Um, anytime I tried to look at the lyrics, it would it would log me out of the entire Spotify. And there were, there were many, many times where I would be cursing at my phone and people would be walking by and now I'm losing business because I look crazy screaming and cursing at my phone. And it's like, that's what they want. That's what they want. They want you to not be successful. And so I had to learn how to not react and not like explode with emotions and frustration and how to keep my composure while I'm performing but I'm being attacked at the same time so that was a very good skill for me and I think I'm still learning it but I'm getting better I will give myself that yeah you guys you guys stick with me we got we got some verses to go through um, Proverbs 24 17 through 18 do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles. Lest the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from him. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, we want to make sure that, like, we is always gracious in our heart and we're not, um gloating we never want to be gloating um if there's an enemy of yours who finally um gets the lick and they were or what's that what's that saying they they got what they were looking for you know and then like you hear about it and like a part of you is kind of like <laughs> you're like trying not to be like well you know or like yeah, I mean, that's what happens, like, when you are that evil for that long, like, something bad, like, something is gonna come back to you eventually, like, the bare minimum, it, 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 it's hard, kind of, uh, in our human nature to not, to not be, like, a little gloating or a little haughty about when we finally hear about how the person or the organization that's been coming against us or an individual for so long and then they finally get taken down it it, it does feel like um what you what we can do i think what we're allowed to do in that moment is thank god for um intervening um but we never want to be like rejoicing at our enemies fall because that's what they do with us and we know that's wrong what do we do immediately is forgive those who have hostility against us what do we do is immediately you know extend the forgiveness we don't we don't um re return hostility with animosity that's even stronger we don't raise our voice we already have god in us we have we have everything we need and life isn't meant to be spent arguing anyway certainly not uh there was one person just like, um so what we can do is be like, oh, thank you, Jesus, for intervening. Um, intervening on my part um, when our enemies finally do um, have that divine retribution and, and, and seek their their moment of, oof, like it's coming back on them type of thing. Like all the, they put out in the universe that was not good. It, like the law, it's not, it, like God does not apply, like the justice, the line of justice, like impartially. It's all like, very much like what you put out is what you get back and so we want to make sure in the moment that when we're hearing about that we're like oh okay thank you god for like being with me and protecting me and making sure that i'm continuing to achieve my destiny but like the black keys have this song and they're my they're my, they are my favorite band the, the black keys are my my favorite band um yeah and they have this song on their newest album called let's rock i think it's their 2022 album and it's every little thing that you do it's always gonna come back to you and I love that song and um it really is true like so even our thoughts of like oh my enemy got taken down and then being like 
slightly rejoiceful, like that will, even that little bit of energy, like that will come back to you. So we always want to make sure we're keeping ourselves in check and we're thanking God for helping us just to achieve our destiny and he will intervene and take care of the enemies. That is, that is literally like what he is here for. Like our job is meant to be joy and light and kind and sharing the fruits. He will take care of the enemies. We will continue to smile and love. Psalms 8 3 Psalms 83 1 through 8 Oh God let there be no silence on your part do not keep speechless and do not keep speechless and do not stay quiet O divine one for look your very enemies are in an uproar for look your very enemies are in an uproar and the very ones intensely hating you have raised their head so God will get their attention. God will intervene. Um, I really, truly feel like there's a little bit of a story I need to share with you. Just last night, for, um, and this is because I feel led, for anyone that really feels like they're getting, honestly, like there is no um, justice. Like there is, like, it feels like there is, like, nothing happening um, in terms of, like, anybody seeing any of the stuff that you're going through and it seems like everyone's just getting away with this mistreatment towards whoever's getting this message um it may feel like there there is no day of retribution for your enemy and it may feel like you're small and outnumbered and i also feel led to say it may feel like incredibly unfair and it probably is however However, listen to this verse right here. Psalms, and I'm going to share the story with you in just a second. I just have like five thoughts at once. It's just the way my brain works. Psalms 23, 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I also love the version written in this. I wanted to share that with you guys. Because this is like the KJ, NJV, New World Translation. I like it. Psalms 23. I love it. Jehovah is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. In grassy pastures, he makes me lie down. By well-watered, resting places, he conducts me. My soul, he refreshes. He leads me in the tracks of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the valley of deep shadow, I fear nothing bad. I'm going to repeat that one more time, guys. Even though I walk in the valley of deep shadow, shadow i fear nothing bad for you are with me your rod and your staff are the things that comfort me you arrange me no no, no. you arrange before me a table in front of those showing hostility to me with oil you have greased my head my cup is well filled oh so beautiful um no matter what occurs when well, no matter what kind of attacks they are all measuring lines of justice that are used as tests so God can continue to use you. It's all just strength training, believe it or not. Um, and the, the, if, I could, if, I, if there's anything that you leave this video knowing and remembering, and, and the point I'd like to really drill home is that any attack brought against you is actually engineered to elevate you. It's just going to take some time. It's just going to take some maneuvering and navigating and, and God's beautiful works and the way he mysteriously works. It, it, it is actually, believe it or not, it is engineered to elevate you. It's just going to take some little bit more time and, and a little bit more... Um, seeking knowledge and understanding from God in order to see how and that's up to every individual to go to God and say how will this elevate me please reveal that to me today um but it definitely will because 
it's it's like just going to the gym and it's a measuring line that will test you um any attack that comes against you it is approved by god first before satan attacked job he said can i can i um you know really mess with him and then and god was like okay you can, yeah you can attack his health you can you know take away the 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 providence and 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 the, and the longevity of the family and uh you know the pasture and the lands and the, and the animals but just don't kill him and so really it's an honor to come up against these enemies we would be nothing without our enemies we love our enemies we pray for them we need our enemies there are lily pads up to success believe it or not it's just in the form of darkness it's like a black lily pad on your way to greener lily pads um but it's like beautiful how the darkness actually elevates us you see what i'm saying it's like really really gorgeous we just cannot be defeated by the darkness. Um, and so, perfect. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So with that said, sometimes when we're being tested and when we're being attacked, it really feels confusing. And that's meant to be that way because you know what? Satan is very crafty and we can see that right here in Genesis 3.1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the, of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God actually say that you shall not eat any of, uh, any, uh, did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? So, I, I truly see that as, like, the first historical <laughs> recorded document of gaslighting in history. <laughs> that, is, this is gaslight. This is, like, a perfect illustrative example of what gaslighting is it's sowing doubt into the victim's mind and warping their reality eve knew that god said yeah you know like to to or i forbid you to eat any of the fruit of the garden and then gaslit by satan and then warped reality and that was like the first that's why gaslighting is evil because it it it, 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 it ruins lives it 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 it, it and, and of course, anything can be healed and brought to restoration with the, the power of Jesus Christ. And anything can be done in Jesus' mighty name, like, and nothing is impossible um, with God. But it's like, gaslighting has the potential because it's so evil. It has the potential to, look what it did, look what it did to our entire reality of our entire world. This started the thorns on a rose. Before this, there was no thorns on a rose. Before Eve ate the, the apple, it was like, there was just a beautiful rose. There was no thorns. They were naked and not ashamed. And then after she was persuaded and, and very, you know, um, you know, the, the devil was very manipulative and gaslit her and said, y are you sure God said you're, you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? Um, and that started like the rest is history like you know, as you as you well know like we're here now dealing with the end days so um be aware be 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 sober minded be watchful for the lion for the S satan roams around like a lion um looking to see who he may devour and that's exactly like what's going on here we need to be watchful we need to be sober minded i'm not saying you can't have fun every now and then and and, and, a, and, a, and a drop of alcohol can't hit your tongue um, and you can't, you can't live a little. I, I, I'm just saying, be watchful, be sober-minded, because Satan roams around like a roaring lion, seeing who he may devour. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all feel, y'all feel? Okay? The story that I felt led to share with you is like, you may feel like you're, um, you're just getting, like, the punching bag or or people are coming up against you and it's just not fair and you're 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 being ganged up on you're being outnumbered i i went for a walk last night just like a little walk and there was a super cute french bulldog like super cute it was literally like this big i think it was like this big it was so cute it was so cute it was like a little face little scrunched and he was like you know how like bulldogs kind of walk like Oh my gosh! Anyway, so I was freaking out, and I asked if I could please pet um, him. 
and the guy was like, oh, this isn't my dog, I'm just, I'm just dog sitting, but yeah, sure, go ahead, and then, um, he seemed a little aloof at first, but then I, like, I made sure that we connected, I got, I was, like, far, far away enough, and then, like, kind of got down on his level, and then he came over to me, and his name was Apollo, and he was, he was literally, you guys, he was no bigger than, like, I'm trying to, he was literally like a miniature tiny French bulldog. Like literally like, okay, like his body was like this big, but then his legs were like, okay. But you know what they say about the small and mighty? So I wanted to like make this analogy. It's like, there are some, um, some small creatures that you would never expect that much strength from or, or, or. A beautiful songbird that's so small you would never expect it to have that big of a beautiful voice but it's like you're you're you are going to be the small but mighty that overcomes these situations you're gonna be the beautiful songbird that is the smallest that has the most beautiful loudest voice and singing um, abilities and it's like I was I was like reaching down and like petting it and then he like he, he like got up on all fours and then like gave me a kiss but then like started giving me like kisses over here and then like I was I was like I got down um and crouched and stuff and like so I was kneeling and I I would say I had a pretty good like stance but he was so strong <laughs> his little French bulldog and even the owner was like good heavens he's strong and we both were like what the f um, because he pushed me in the he like pushed me over a little bit but like not in a mean way he was just giving me kisses and so much love that he kind of like pushed me and then I like put my hand down I was like oh my gosh you're strong and then the owner said that too and the owner was like cute he's like don't be mean don't push her over but he was like he was literally giving me so much love and kisses and he was so strong that he like knocked me over and, I ha and I'm strong and it's like this little French bo like dog it was so cute you guys I wish I was recorded I could have shown it to you but like you're small, you're, you're, okay, you may be seen as small, and you may be seen as, like, underestimated, or you may feel like you don't have as good as chances as what's coming up against you. However, I believe, and I pray in Jesus' mighty name, that there is something revealed to you today that shows how much inner strength you truly do have, and that Jesus like reveals that to you in the most beautiful minutia of ways so you feel it in your spirit and that you're restored and that you take this day on with like a uh, agility and fervor that you, you just haven't quite seen just yet because it's like the inner strength was awoken in you in Jesus mighty name like and know that any attacks that come against you are actually going to elevate you we just have to um, seek counsel with God on, on exactly how that journey is uh, meant to be like executed and, and how we're supposed to respond because we're all just vessels and pieces of the puzzle here to help each other out um, so let me see I think maybe I'd like to end with like uh, this really solid beautiful gorgeous verse uh, Ephesians 6 10 through 18 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, Take up the whole armor that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, I guess I have two more verses. Do you guys have like two more seconds to hang? John 8, 44. You are your father of devil. Uh, you are your father of devil. And your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in truth because 
There is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and is the father of lies. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait until I have air conditioning. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, we're going to end with 1 Corinthians 10.13. No temptation has overtaken you that it is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. <laughs> yes. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. So you see how in John 8.44, he's the father of lies. He does nothing but lie. Like he's miserable. He's a loser. He's pathetic. He went against the one and greatest God that has been here forever when there is a void and darkness and nothing over the face of the waters. And he still went up against him and thought he was going to be better than him and took a third of the angels with him. That is a loser. Someone who goes up against God and then tries to convince the rest of humanity that the angel of light is really like a lie when really he's a lie. Like that is a, an actual loser. So for like a thousand years, he's going to be like locked up. So he's already a incarcerated individual trying to make other people criminals. That's who Satan is. He's the father of lies. Okay. And, and he'll try and rope you into all kinds of temptations, but don't have any fear when that comes along because then we see in first Corinthians 10, 13, that <clears throat> you will not be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape. God will always provide a way of escape so that you may be able to endure it. Not only will you endure it, you will become strengthened afterwards and you'll become more wise and more apt to help others who are being attacked as well because you're just stronger for going through it. You just are. It may not feel like it in the moment. In the moment, it, like truly right now, it may feel like you're being broken down and you may be on the floor crying, like type of like feeling defeated. Um, but those are actually the very scaffolds of your strength that it's like kryptonite. It's just like sometimes we just have to kind of like get beaten down to discover like why we want to get back up again if that makes sense and if that's not too cheesy um but it's like we will endure it whatever escape or temptation comes our way there's always an escape we're never trapped and this life is an, an opportunity um to show others love and kindness um and hope hope the, i think the point of this life is to share and spread hope and love but i think hope is like one of the most beautiful beautiful concepts in this entire life. I'm in awe of the concept of hope. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And God has our backs. Any attack coming against you, sweet gentleman, beautiful, gorgeous gal, you will be strengthened from it. Just see it as strength training. See it as boot camp for now. Um, it won't be like this forever. These are measuring lines of justice where God is testing you and it, there will be an end to it. He's just strengthening you. He's pruning you. Um, don't give up. Like it's going to get better. And if there's any attacks coming against you that seem like you're barely able to keep your head above water, um, seek God and ask for the inner strength to be revealed to you today. Um, and I don't think I said this verse yet either. Psalms 54, 3. For strangers have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before themselves. Um, so we may even come across people who like do that and are not putting God before themselves and instead seek the worldly favors instead of first seeking the kingdom of God. And that's another form of uh, distraction or disruption or delay into what we're actually supposed to be doing with our destiny. So um, these are my suggestions and um, Bible verses and ways to apply how to handle being attacked in, in the spiritual realm and how to do it with grace. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay chosen. Peace.